Hi, I'm Lee Hickey. Welcome to Science Over Coffee. Today we speak with Professor Ian Godwin from the University of Queensland about genetically modified organisms, or GMOs. You know, when a scientist takes a piece of DNA in a test tube and inserts it into a plant or animal, he thinks that genetically modified food crops are perfectly compatible with organic agriculture. Let's find out why. So when you go to the shops yeah. and you pick up a product and you, you read is it organic or, or not. Sure. Um, it, yeah, this is driving yep. con consumers' choices in, it in is. the shops today. It is. So why isn't GM uh, part of this? Yeah, that's a tough one. To, to a lot of people like me, um, there's, nothing that, there's nothing that makes GM not organic because we're basically using organic techniques mm -hmm. to make these crops. Isn't it, isn't it actually environmentally friendly? Well, a, in most, in most of the things that are being done are environmentally friendly and in fact beneficial and to my way of thinking, and, and it's not just me, it's a lot of people who are involved in GM. We're actually creating plants that, are, that give a more sustainable agriculture. Now, if you, um, if you were to go down that track, you would say that GM fits in perfectly with organic because if you can create disease resistant plants, pest resistant plants, so, plants so that require less fertilizer, uh -huh. but give you the same yield, productivity, product quality, perfect. So why are GMOs not considered organic? To, to say that you're growing an organic crop of whatever sort, let's say you're producing organic potatoes, mm -hmm. those organic potatoes have to be certified by your organisation and nearly all organic organisations around the world have, de have deemed anything GM is non-organic. That's just how it is. Um, which is, Even though they're, they're actually using less chemicals to produce the food. That's right. If you have a that's right. GM disease resistant crop. Yep. yep. That doesn't make much sense. Well, it, it, it doesn't. So why should we use GMOs? Organic production of things like tomatoes and potatoes requires a lot of sprays. Now within the organic rules, there are certain things that you can spray with. One of those that is quite worrying to most people is to control fungi, you can't use fungicides in organic production. So people use various different um, combinations of chemicals, but mostly copper. Huh. And so with... But isn't, isn't copper toxic? Copper is toxic, but it's, it it's, toxic like, it's, it's, it's like all chemicals. Toxicity is all about dosage. So the aim with spraying um, plants with copper to get rid of the fungus is to have a concentration that's toxic to the fungus, mm -hmm. but it's not toxic to the humans who are going to eat it. That's what you're aiming for. And that's the same with all pesticides. It doesn't matter what the chemical is you're applying. It's you want to have it toxic to the insect or the fungus. So, th so they can still apply a chemical of course. to they their well, organic food? They have to. That's the only way they can get an organic potato. So what's wrong with organic pesticides like copper? The problem that comes with that is that that copper actually then builds up in the soil. So organic farmers who grow potatoes year after year, it's the same with the grape industry year after year, and are applying copper, they're now actually getting to toxic levels mm -hmm. of copper in the soil. Um, and the outcome of that is it means if you're buying organic potatoes from a farmer who's farmed organic potatoes for a number of years, mm -hmm. those, those potatoes are actually going to have higher levels of copper, in some, time, in some cases already, higher levels of copper than the World Health Organization deems to be safe. It sounds like a, a good case to make a GM potato to me, Ian. It does. And in fact, if I, if I was going to say, what's my, what's my dream for having a GM organism released into the environment, a a pest and disease resistant potato would be the one because you wouldn't then have to use all those all those chemicals on it whether it was organic or not now even if you, if you it doesn't matter whether you're growing potatoes organically or not organically mm -hmm. you are spraying those potatoes every couple of weeks 
Today we learn that our beloved organic potato is sprayed using copper to control disease. But maybe it's time we embrace GMOs for a more sustainable agriculture and perhaps a healthier potato chip. See you next time on Science Over Coffee.